So finally, the GPT store is available. OpenAI announced this yesterday in a blog post. So what we're going to take a look at is some of the details behind the store, some of the information we've been waiting on, for example, how we monetize GPTs. We'll find out what information OpenAI are providing around that. And we'll take a look at the store itself and see what's available. So this blog post was announced yesterday. And if we take a look through, they are having new featured GPTs every week. And some of the first featured GPTs include organizations you've heard of before, such as CodeTutor, uh, Canva. I use Canva quite a bit in creating thumbnail posts for my YouTube videos. So I'll be really interested to take a look at that. The instructions regarding sharing your GPT to be included in the store are also contained here. If you go back to my previous video, I also give you a run through of how to do that as well. Now, this is the part we've all been interested in. Uh, the fact that GPT builders can earn based on the GPT usage. So in real terms, depending on how many people start to use and interact with your GPT, that will generate some revenue for the builders. Now, it's not available yet. They say that that's going to be introduced in Q1. So we've still got to wait to hear exactly how that will work. And I also notice here that as a first step, it's only going to be US builders that will be paid based on user engagement. So as in the UK, we might have to wait a little bit just yet. One of the things they also announced down here is a new GPT team plan. Uh, I'll be taking a closer look at that in another video, but essentially it sounds like this is for organizations who create custom GPTs and want to share that with other users within their business. So that would be a really useful tool for businesses that are looking to start to expand out the use of those custom GPTs within their organization. So let's head over to ChatGPT itself and see what we can find. So uh, first of all, I get this little notification here, letting me know that I can start to explore the GPTs. So let's go to the Explore GPTs option over here on the left-hand side and take a look at what we can see. So at the top here, we've got this search box that will allow us to search the GPTs that are currently available. As we notice in the blog post, we've got the featured GPTs contained at the top here. I do notice the, there's only four there, uh, even though it did mention some other GPTs such as Canva that hasn't been included in those initial featured GPTs on the page itself. This is really useful so we can start to see which of the custom GPTs are trending amongst the community, which are the most popular. And then we've also got the GPTs that were created by OpenAI themselves, as well as DALI GPTs. Okay, this is interesting because we're starting now to go into GPT categorizations. We have GPTs related here to writing, productivity, research and analysis, programming, education, and lifestyle. So that might be an easier way to find popular GPTs relating to certain topics that you're interested in. Um, I'm just going to give the search facility a quick go here. So if I type in keto, for example, let's see what that comes up with. Okay, so maybe the, the search tool needs some refinement. Um, but let's head into one of these other GPTs. Now, one of the things you have to do when you set up your build profile is also indicate whether you're willing to provide support on that GPT to the end users. So I'd be interested to find out how we gain or get support for these GPTs. Okay, so I'm gonna explore the GPT store in more detail. I'm gonna do some further research into this. So stay tuned for further videos, but the GPT store is available. Um, it is only available to those on a plus plan onwards. So if you're using the free version, you won't have access to this just yet, at least anyway. But in the comments, let me know what you find and what your experiences of the GPT store are.